Hi everyone! I'm here to show you the difference between a fake Fjallraven uh, backpack and the original one from the actual website. So, I don't know if you can tell which one is fake already, but I'm going to show you in a minute. And um, yeah, I'm just going to say the fake one was £15 on eBay. And the original one from the website was 85 plus shipping. So let's see the differences. So I'm going to tell you now, this one is the fake one. And this one is the original from the website. So what we can see first, they were both meant to be the color pink. And as you see here, this one is just way lighter pink and this one is a bit darker. Now, the first other thing we can see when we unpack this, by the way, the original one was delivered in this pack over here with like an envelope that even has your receipt in there. So all high quality and all fancy and stuff. Um, this one, however, was just delivered in, um, yeah, just a plastic bag, nothing else from China. Um, so here we have the tags. So this would be the typical fake uh, tag you would find. Like the original doesn't have like a double thing. The original comes with this tag. And on the back side, you should see a sticker stating the color and the style. Now, the material. The material on this one is just really thin and, yeah. I mean, it doesn't feel bad, but it, yeah, it's just really thin. And this one is very thick and it feels like quality, if you know what I mean. I mean, I can't really show you over the the video, but if you... If you feel it, like, believe me, you can definitely feel the difference. So for the material, um, we're going to do the waterproof test. I mean, I know that the fake one is waterproof because um, I've taken it out a few times. But uh, just for demonstration, I'm going to show you with this water bottle. Well, that was not the best way. Yeah, that's perfectly waterproof. And so should be the original. And it is. So I guess if you just want a cheap waterproof backpack, you can <laughs> definitely go for this one as well. But yeah, there are more differences than that. <laughs> so let's take a look inside. This is the fake one. The first thing we're going to look at are the stitches. You can see there's some thread coming out over here. And this one isn't very clean. But yeah, I've seen worse. And then here we have the original one. And it's just much more clean. Way better. So let's have a look at the tags inside on the side so here we have this kind of tag and it's just very plasticky i'd say and on the original one it should be a bit like silky almost like cloth so the material is just very different there also, the stitches, I'm going to show you on the fake one, like the stitches here look way better than on the fake one here. Look at that. Now to the uh, name tag, name and address tag. Um, here, this wouldn't happen on the original one you know the uh, Swedish people have the this little 
thingy <laughs> over the A. <laughs> I don't know what you call it, I'm sorry. Um, and on the original one, you can see they don't make that mistake. It's correct here, so watch out for that as well, if you're unsure. And then on top of that, can you see this little symbol here? The fake one doesn't have that. Now I must say, they go through uh, to great lengths to put in the Swedish flag on this one. Like some don't even have that, some of the fakes, but uh, mine has it. But yeah, this is just like on the original. Other than that, um, the, the divider inside, so this is on the original, the divider is uh, much better material here as well. And this one is just really thin, plasticky and just flimsy. <laughs> also, I think you may be able to see this very well if I hold it against the window. How thin the material is. And now if I do the same thing with the original. Well, actually... Okay, that is not the best way to demonstrate how much more quality this bag has, but I think it's it's a tiny bit darker. So, like, it, it should show that the material is way thicker than it is on the fake. Now, what you can also look out for if you're not sure if yours is a fake or if you're about to buy a fake, this seat pad um this one doesn't have a sticker it looks not very well cut and it's just easily very easily bendable now the seat pad of the original one is a little bit more solid and very important it always will have the sticker on it so that's another way you can tell Yeah, so um, all in all, the material is probably the first difference you can tell. Like this bag just, the material is so thin and it just collapses when it's open like that and empty. And this one just is still able to hold its, uh, its shape. And yeah. Stitches, um, of course, on this one are much better than on this one. And I think just from the packaging alone, you might be able... I mean, of course, you will get um, from the official website, you will get a high quality box and, and all. I don't know how it is from official retailers, but it will probably be better than this plastic bag from China. <laughs> so, yeah. Um I hope you won't fall for a fake like I did. I was a bit of an idiot, I must say. But yeah, I hope that uh, this helps you to, to find the differences between a fake and an original and that you don't waste your money. And if you're just looking for a stylish backpack um, that is cheap and you don't care that it's fake, then I must say this one is actually not too bad. <laughs> like, I don't want to promote buying fakes, but... It isn't too bad, honestly. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and I hope it helps and see you around.